So today's book is about something which all of us have come across at some point of time almost every day. Yes, it's the traffic signal. And you know what? It has a name. Subu the signal. The story begins. In a little city stood a busy traffic signal in the middle of a very busy street. His name was Subu. He had three bright lights. Red, orange and green. Green to go, orange to slow and red to stop. Subu worked very hard day and night. He helped buses, cars and trucks move in order. He also helped people cross the road safely. Most of all, he loved to watch the children walk across the street every morning. One day, Subu became sad. He thought, I never move and I do the same thing every day. I want to see places. I wish I could move like the busy people and zoom like the fast cars. The next day, he took off from the very busy street. Eager to travel, Subu decided to explore places in all four directions, which is north, south, east and west. First, Subu went to the beach on the east side to watch the waves and play in the sand. On the seashore, he met a lighthouse, standing big and tall. Hello, Signal, where are you going? asked the curious lighthouse to Subu. I am tired of doing the same thing. I want to move around and see places, you know. Move? I don't move, screamed the lighthouse. Without my light, the ships in the sea will not know their way. I am happy to stay here and do my job, said the lighthouse. Ignoring the lighthouse, Subu continued his journey. Next, Subu turned west to go to a nearby park to play with the children. There, he met a big tree standing all alone. Hello, Signal, where are you going? called out the big tree. Subu explained to the tree why he was wandering. I stand here to give shade to all the children and a home to all the birds. I love what I do. You better be home to help the traffic, advised the big tree. Ignoring the tree again, Subu hurried to see more places. From there, Subu started walking north. He passed a post box on the side of the road. Hello, Signal, where are you going? asked the post box. Subu replied to the post box that he was tired of doing the same thing and wanted to move around and see places. But the post box shouted back, I stand here all day for people to drop their letters. I like my job. Hurry back home. Subu kept walking, wondering why everyone told him to get back home. Tired, Subu sat down on an old bench by the roadside. You look unhappy, dear. What is the matter? asked the bench. Subu whined again. I have been fixed to one spot all my life. Bored, I decided to travel around. However, I wonder if I am doing the right thing. Well, I am an old bench and I have never moved. I love having people sit on me because that's what I am meant to do. Why don't you go back and help the traffic, advised the friendly bench. Hearing the bench, Subu started walking south, not knowing where to go next. It was dark already and Subu finally decided to walk back home. Suddenly, he heard loud honking noises coming from near the street where he used to stand. There were buses, cars and trucks everywhere. The traffic jam made the drivers angry. Old people and young children crowded near the footpath wondering how to cross the road. It made Subu sad to see such a scene. He thought, this is all because of me. I am meant to stay and not move around. I have an important job to do. Subu quickly jumped back to his spot and started working again. Next morning, Subu felt really happy to help the busy traffic once again. As usual, he signaled green to go, orange to slow and red to stop. Like the lighthouse, the tree 
the post box and the bench, Subutu decided to stay in place and do his job. He whispered to himself, I will never leave this place for anything else in the world. The End